Joining us now to chit chat about massive names being, you know, amicably departed mm -hmm. from two teams sure. at a very, very high level. He's a four time NFL MVP and a man who is a Super Bowl champion. Ladies and gentlemen, the last human that Bill Belichick talked to on the field as the New England Patriots head coach, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Aaron, how you doing, pal? Can you guys see me? Yeah, you look fantastic. You look great. Clearer than whenever you usually call us from wherever, actually. Okay, good. Yeah, because I'm out here in the woods, so I'm I'm uh, I'm glad I can't see you guys, so this is perfect. <laughs> All right, so blind. You look great. You need to know that. You're out in the woods, obviously, doing your off-season stuff. Activities. Activities, ventures. Uh, is that a good way to describe it? That the off-season has begun, yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm happy you take some time here to chit-chat with us because obviously with Bill Belichick, you were the last human that he talked to on the field as the New England Patriots head coach. Now we know that for sure. Whenever you think about them moving on, Connor got emotional oh, about yeah. the dynasty ending officially. What are your thoughts on Bill Belichick leaving New England but definitely going to play somewhere or coach somewhere else? Is that what he said? Did he say he's going to definitely keep coaching? Yeah. I mean, he's the life. Yeah. He seems like a lifer. Um, it's tough. I mean, you have not just Bill, but uh, but Nick Saban announced his retirement. Is that true as well? Yeah. 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 I've been kind of um, you know uh, insulated here from uh, a lot of the uh, internet. The internet's a little spotty here, um, you know, in the woods. So it's kind of nice. But I did see that, and and uh, it's too bad. You know, it's those are two iconic, iconic coaches. Um, I think in general, when we play this game, we love this game. Um, there's this idea about game changers and people who actually change the game. And in, in, in actuality, there's very few people who really move the game forward, players or coaches. But when you're talking about people who actually made a difference in the game and moved the game forward and were trailblazers and game changers, Bill Belichick and Nick Saban were those guys. And Bill uh, did things his own way and had a ton of success with it, and people tried to copy it and couldn't do it. Um, I think that's the greatest compliment you can give Bill besides the uh, the respect of competing against him. And that's what I always try to give when I saw him. You know, one of my favorite things about Bill is uh, his love for the game, whether he's talking about the top 100 players or, uh, you know, watching some of those segments or, or whether it's him and I uh, BSing on the field before a, a week 18, ultimately meaningless as far as in the standings game about a 2019 game that happened at MetLife. And, uh, you know, throwing a backside uh, post route to Alan Lazard in the kind of a, a torrential, uh, you know, snow, snow down um, was just the guy he is. But but the, my favorite my favorite uh, story of my own interaction with Bill was we played him in, in, uh, in 2018 and 2022. And both times he waited uh, to make sure that he saw me after the game. And I just thought that that was one of the classiest things ever. And, and I have so much respect for him doing that. 2018, I was having a conversation with uh, with Tom. They beat us at their place. And he waited. And after, you know, because coaches a lot of times just go over, shake the other coach's hand. Sometimes there's some words back and forth. But go over, shake the other coach's hand. Party. And then they're out, right? Uh, but Bill waited for me. And, and then in 2022, I actually was doing an interview on the field after we beat him uh, in a game that went back and forth and Bill waited until my interview ended. And I just thought that was one of the coolest classiest things ever. I mean, this is a absolute no brainer hall of fame game changer guy who was a trailblazer in the league and did things no one's ever done before. Um, arguably the greatest coach uh, in NFL history uh, and probably will have the record for wins if he, if he wants to keep going uh, in the near future. And he waited for me to finish my, you know, my press conference or on the field interview to, to say something nice. So I have a ton of respect for Bill um, and, and Nick as well. I mean, I, I interviewed with Nick Saban uh, in, at Berkeley in 2005 when he was head coach of Miami Dolphins. And uh, we obviously went our own ways after that, and he had incredible success. And I've enjoyed watching him on the show this year on your show. Um, so uh, kudos to, to Nick on a Hall of Fame career and the amount of, players young men that he's impacted is uh, exponential bill love you man so much respect you changed the game and continue uh, to do that i know you you will keep doing that so 
Uh, I don't think it's a retirement for Bill. Not sure about Nick. I mean, I feel like he's a lifer too. Maybe he wants to go into coaching, or sorry, on TV and out of coaching and take some stress off or spend more time with his uh, kids, grandkids, wife, whatever it might be. But um, those the, the game is better with his college or pro when, uh, when those guys are in it. Hey, thank you for taking time out of your woods retreat that you're on right now to give a little love to Bill Belichick and Saban as they move into a next chapter. You're the man. Mustache looks good, too. No darkness here. This is, you can tell, there's a lot of light. <laughs> nice. Good books to actually read behind me. So we're not doing that darkness thing anymore. Smart, smart. Well, I appreciate you. Ladies, get back to it. We appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Hmm. 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 What's he doing in the woods? Bro. What's he doing on the I show? tried to reach out. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna yeah, say. Yeah, he's not allowed on the show. He can't come on the show. I was anymore, told. Right? Yeah, we must have called the wrong person. Zito's not uh -huh. here. Different that was fake. Yeah, that was a whole thing. Deep fake. Is that a clone? Deep fake. They got cloned. Yeah. <laughs> clone. AI is final. No, it is, um, you know, he found it to be pretty important too, you know, like because he has a lot of respect for Bill. Oh, yeah. Wanted to pay, you know, his respects to yeah. Bill Belichick, obviously, now that it's taken place. I've learned that a lot with a lot of the people that I've kind of chatted with here as the day rolls on because this gets dropped in the morning and it's like, heads up. Now, we know, some of us know, that like Aaron was... This is what off seasons look like for Aaron when football ends. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what it, this is what. Where's he at? Uh, Central America. Yeah, where's sure. He, Hungary. Likes, likes right. to travel. He talks about his love of travel, right? Yeah, but it's not just travel too. It's just like, hey, I, I don't know, I don't know what phone is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. free scaling the face of a cliff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Alex like, Honnold. It's like, does it like you know? He so was out I, buying those cool crystals last last year. Too. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of that. I mean, there was a lot of everything. We've heard the stories. Enlightenment all the time, right? Enlightenment, awakening. Bingo. And he's on a They're constant pursuit, that. seemingly, whenever the season ends. That's like that. That's his thing. So yesterday, I'm just getting absolutely mm -hmm. crushed. I'm like, how do I explain to all these humans that, like, Aaron Rodgers has an offseason, too. Yeah. That he, like, enjoys hmm. doing. And this is how this is always kind of gone with Aaron Rodgers Tuesday. When his football's over, normally he's got – now, last year, a little different because the whole situation that was kind of yeah. taking place. But it's like – that was wild. We were getting absolutely killed. They're like, it, you turned your back on Aaron mm -hmm. Rodgers. It's like, do you know how many things I've been through with Aaron Rodgers? Mm -hmm. Just in our short relationship. It's like, yeah, I was not pumped to be in the middle of any of that. We all have friends that put us in situations where we're like, did we have to? Mm -hmm. did, 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 did we? You, did you did have we, to? <laughs> did we? I've been that this guy. One's, this one's a bit unique. Yeah, unique situation. It feels like. Yeah, it's like, okay, so... You know, today, whenever, and he's at the, I don't, he don't really explain anymore. He had to go up a, uh, mm -hmm. he had to go up a hill pretty much. Yeah, you got to find some service. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, anyways, a lot of people paying respect to Bill Belichick and Nick Saban. And, oh, we didn't ask him about Pete Carroll there. He probably doesn't even know. No, no, no he doesn't. Yeah. Doesn't. No, he he doesn't. Right doesn't. doesn't. He'll be shocked by that as well. About Braves. Does he know about Braves? Uh, oh, that's a whole nother. Was yeah, he? yeah, yeah yes. we talked about yeah. that on Tuesday. Yeah. Nobody really picked yeah. that up. No. no. Yeah, right. That was, that was, that was, <laughs> that was <laughs> by the way. That was, that was None of those clips got picked up. But